Welcome back to Technology of Voicegower. Today we're diving deep into one of Europe's most advanced fighter aircraft, the Eurofighter Typhoon, and more specifically, its modernized capabilities and role as we move into the 2026 era. This is not just another fighter jet story. It's the story of how decades of European engineering, British innovation, and multinational cooperation have created a platform that continues to evolve, adapt, and dominate in a rapidly changing world. The Eurofighter Typhoon first took to the skies in the 1990s, but make no mistake, the jet we see flying today in the Royal Air Force bears little resemblance to that original machine. It has been upgraded, refined, and digitally transformed. The 2026 Typhoon is not a relic of the past, it's a cutting-edge air superiority fighter that now bridges the gap between the fourth and fifth generation. It may not have full stealth like the F-35, but it compensates with unmatched agility, sensor fusion, and combat readiness that make it one of the most capable multi-role jets in service. When you look at a Typhoon up close, you notice its sleek delta wing and canard design. That combination isn't just for looks, it gives the aircraft incredible maneuverability, especially in close quarters dogfights. The twin Eurojet EJ200 engines provide a massive thrust-to-weight ratio, allowing the Typhoon to climb like a rocket and cruise comfortably at speeds over Mach 2. But it's the avionics and electronics that define the 2026 model. The new radar, the Captur Reactive Electronically Scanned Array, gives pilots a wider field of view and faster target tracking. It's a major leap forward in how the Typhoon detects, tracks, and engages threats in crowded airspaces. The British Royal Air Force continues to upgrade its Typhoon fleet under the so-called Phase 4 Enhancement Program. By 2026, this includes not only the radar upgrade, but also improvements to mission computers, communication systems, and the integration of new weapon systems such as the Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. The Meteor is one of the most advanced missiles in the world, it's designed to hit targets over 100 kilometers away with a ramjet engine that maintains speed even at long ranges. Combined with the Typhoon's ability to carry six or more of these, it becomes an air dominance machine. But it's not just about air-to-air -air combat. The 2026 Typhoon is a true multi-role platform. It can switch from air superiority to ground strike within the same mission. Using precision-guided munitions like the Paveway IV, Brimstone, and Storm Shadow cruise missiles, the Typhoon can take on hardened targets, moving vehicles, and even naval vessels. The software upgrades and modular mission system mean that the pilot can rapidly adapt the jet for different mission profiles, one flight might involve intercepting enemy fighters, the next, a deep strike mission far behind enemy lines. In 2026, the United Kingdom is expected to keep its Typhoons operational alongside the F-35B Lightning II. Rather than replacing one with the other, the RAF has developed a complementary strategy, the Typhoon takes on high-intensity missions requiring speed, agility, and payload, while the F-35 focuses on stealth penetration and sensor fusion. Together, they create a layered air combat system, sharing data through secure data links like Link 16 and newer NATO digital networks. In this networked battle space, the Typhoon acts as a weapons truck and interceptor, while the F-35 acts as a sensor node. This synergy is what gives the RAF its modern edge. The cockpit of the Typhoon has also seen remarkable transformation. The 2026 variant introduces a larger digital display system, often called the Large Area Display, that replaces traditional multifunction screens. Pilots get a panoramic, touchscreen-style interface showing radar, weapons, and navigation data all at once. Combined with the helmet-mounted display, this gives pilots what's known as sensor fusion, meaning they see a combined, intuitive picture of the battlefield. The pilot doesn't have to look down, all the information is projected directly onto the visor. It's immersive, fast, and far more efficient. Behind the scenes, a huge focus has gone into maintaining the Typhoon as a long-term platform. The RAF and Bay systems are working on Typhoon ECR and Typhoon Next Generation concepts, aiming to keep the aircraft operational well into the 2040s. These efforts tie into the development of the UK's next big project, the Tempest Fighter, part of the Future Combat Air System program. Many technologies tested on the 2026 Typhoon, including artificial intelligence, advanced sensors, and cooperative engagement capabilities, will feed directly into Tempest. In a sense, the Typhoon is not just a fighter, it's a flying laboratory preparing the RAF for the next generation of air warfare. Now, 
When we talk about power, agility, and speed, it's easy to forget another crucial aspect, survivability. The Typhoon has one of the most advanced defensive aid subsystems in Europe. The DAS package uses radar warning receivers, missile approach warners, and electronic countermeasures to jam or decoy incoming threat. In 2026, software-defined updates make it even more capable, allowing faster reaction times and improved resistance to modern radar-guided missiles. Combined with its agility and situational awareness, it's one of the hardest jets to shoot down in the world. The Typhoon's role in modern conflicts has also evolved. We've seen it deployed in operations over Syria, Iraq, and Libya, performing both air defense and precision strike missions. In 2026 and beyond, it remains at the heart of NATO's quick reaction alert forces, ready to intercept unidentified aircraft approaching Allied airspace. The presence of typhoons at forward bases across Europe sends a strong message, air superiority remains a pillar of collective defense. Maintenance and cost efficiency are also improving. The RAF and its European partners have introduced predictive maintenance using onboard sensors and digital twins, virtual models of each aircraft that track its condition in real time. This approach reduces downtime and saves millions in operating costs. For a jet that was once seen as expensive to maintain, the 2026 Typhoon is becoming smarter, leaner, and more sustainable. Another major enhancement coming in 2026 is the integration of advanced data link networks and artificial intelligence for mission support. The aircraft's computer systems can process massive amounts of sensor data, helping the pilot prioritize targets and make faster decisions. Essentially, it's human and machine working together, the pilot remains in control, but the jet acts as a co-pilot that never gets tired, never loses focus, and never misses a radar contact. Let's not forget the international cooperation behind the Typhoon. Built by a consortium of the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain, it represents one of the most ambitious joint military programs in Europe. The collaboration has not only produced an exceptional fighter, but also strengthened industrial ties and technological independence. For Britain, that means thousands of skilled jobs, export opportunities, and a strong aerospace sector anchored by Bay Systems in Wharton and Rolls-Royce in Derby. As we look at 2026, the Typhoon remains more than a machine, it's a statement of European and British capability, a symbol of deterrence, and a cornerstone of the Royal Air. Forces Power Projection It bridges eras, born in the Cold War, matured through counterinsurgency, and now evolving for digital, high-tech warfare. Whether it's intercepting intruders, supporting ground troops, or training alongside allies, the Eurofighter Typhoon continues to prove why it's one of the world's most respected fighters. Thank you for watching Technology of Voice Gower. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Eurofighter Typhoon 2026, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think the Typhoon can stay relevant until the arrival of Tempest? Or will the new generation of stealth fighters take the crown? Join the discussion, and stay tuned for more episodes exploring the future of defense technology and modern warfare.